In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the diabetes mediform in Health 1. Open the patient file with diabetes and then click on the mediform box. If you click on this, you get a full list of the mediforms available. If you click, however, on the arrow beside it, you get a list of your frequently used mediforms. In this case, pick the most recent diabetic review form, which is diabetic review version 17. When you click on this, a form or patient diabetes management protocol will open. What this allows you to do is to see all the relevant diabetes information from the patient file in one place. In my practice, the nurse generally completes page one, which is the patient symptoms and objective measurements. So she goes through their symptoms. If they have any particular problems at the moment, such as burning, pain in feet, three months, if they smoke, if they drink, what their diet is like, whether it's good, mainly good or poor, if she wants partic particular comments, And likewise, regarding exercise, if it's regular, greater than 30 minutes per day, less than 30 minutes per day, etc. She can then record their blood pressure. Their weight. And automatically, the system will calculate their body mass index if there is a previous height recorded. You can see the patient's previous blood pressures. If you click into the systolic box, you will see all previous systolic readings with the date and the diastolic box, all previous diastolic. Similarly with weight, all previous weights, height, all previous heights, and body mass index, all previous body mass indexes. She may also record the abdominal circumference, hip circumference, and the computer will calculate the waist to hip ratio. She also records generally whether the patient has been seen in the past 12 months by any other diabetes care professionals. And she records their urinalysis result. She may also complete the eyes and feet page. In this case, we generally use only the foot section. We record the pulses, whether they're present or absent, whether there is some form of foot pathology. We generally only record the vibration and sensation at the toes. And then we calculate whether the, or then we um, define whether the patient has low, moderate, or high risk. In this case, the patient patient has absent pulses, but is otherwise well. The patient then attends the GP, who completes the summary page. Who, who sorry, who reviews the summary page? This page draws all the previous. HbA1c's with their date, creatinines, it automatically calculates the EGFR, it also pulls any previous urine, urinary albumin creatinine ratios, cholesterols, HDLs, etc., as well as systolic and diastolic blood pressure, body mass index, and waist to hip ratio. This page is very useful for use with the patient when discussing their management. The diabetes medications are also recorded. Self-care, which is advised on the day. Referrals, which are done on the day. 